Now, you know Gator's out of commission, right? You, you heard about what happened to Gator. Um, you heard the story? I didn't hear the full story, no. Yeah, so you know he works, uh, he's one of those gentlemen that, that makes sure the highways and the byways are, are, are um, in the right-of-way for folks to get down there. And, you know, they got those big machines with the, you know, they got the big snatchy claw on the front end for digging and stuff, and they got the big pushy shovel thing. I don't want to get technical with the terminology, but... So they got all that heavy equipment, you know, and if a fella's working that and, and that thing, you know, tilts or, you know, you can you can get thrown, you know, you can hurt yourself, if, you know, separate your shoulder, you know, that, that can happen. Um, it sounds like it did happen. No, that, that's not what oh, happened. That's not no, what but that's not what happened oh, okay. to Gator. No, no. See, Gator, um, he, um, for Mother's Day, he did, the, he did the right thing, and he went and got uh, Lady Gator one of them reclining chairs. And... Um, so what happened was uh, he had decided that, you know, he was going to try that out because, you know, that's her chair. And uh, so he figured, you know, she was going out for her son to go to meet and, you know, get together with, with the ladies auxiliary. And he got all excited. He put down, a, he took the shower curtain, covered that chair so he wouldn't get, you know, make a mess on it. And uh, got himself a family size bag of, you know, Gator likes his taters. So he got him a family bag of chips and got him a big old 40 ounce of uh you know Miller genuine draft and he was set he broke out the uh the time life box set of Muppet Show on VHS and he was going to sit back and then enjoy the evening and uh in all his excitement when he jumped down there and, there and boom, he flipped open that chair his libations went one way and the lays went the other and um like a two-headed toad he reached out with both hands one to the left one to the right to, you know, he wanted to save his uh, his prizes, and he did. But snap, you know, sound like a wishbone snapping, and uh, so he threw out his shoulder. But uh, so it had nothing to do with the DPW, or no? But you know what happened was, you know, he did get workers' comp because. Uh, but he saved the potatoes. Yeah, he saved the beer and potato chips, but all that all that potato chip grease had had kind of slicked up that shower curtain really good. So um, when he when he was able to grab a hold of the chips and the, and the beer, he fell back into that chair. You know, that's one of them rocky reclining type chairs, you know. So when he hit that chair, that thing was all greased up from the potato chip grease. That chair slipped forward like a like a garbage chute. He slid right out of that chair, right down the steps to the front door, landed feet first, right in his work boots. So he'd fallen and he couldn't get up, in other words. Oh, he was upright. He, oh. You know, when he slid out of that chair feet first, he landed right in his work boots, and wham, nose in the corner like a child, ugly talking child, you know, gets sent to the principal, and he was stuck right there, you know. Couldn't move. And that's where he, he's still there. No, no, oh, no, oh. no, no, no. What happened was Lady Gator come home, opened the door. She didn't see him behind there, so the next morning when she got up, he thought he was early for work. And uh, so she dropped him off. He was there an hour before he realized he was there. Got more work done in one day than he had done in the 13 years he'd been working at the highway department. They were so impressed, they gave him the day off workers' comp. Wow. So, um, yeah, so that's how Gator threw his shoulder out. And it's but all due to the potatoes. That's a true story, man, and uh, you ain't never caught me lying to you. So um, I just figured we'd fill you in on that. So, And uh, we, we're going to have updates, too. So any Gator Tales out there, y'all calling. We'll be doing Gator Tales. We're going to... We miss the Gator. We're going to pay, you know, fine tribute memory to the Gator. Um, he is missed, and, and he was uh, dearly loved down there at Lou's Tavern. So we are, um, we're looking forward to uh, any stories y'all want to share about the Gator. You know, he's, uh, we thought he was up in commission and going to be back for uh, this episode of the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Unfortunately, no. Maybe if we put, like, a, a bag of potato chips and a, and a 40 ounce, like, out maybe he'll it'll lure him out yeah we like, like you, it, it'll, it'll be like the bait gator bait exactly there you go some gator bait so so we just want to you know our best wishes and um and our fondest memories of the gator that's a moment of silence for the gator and uh he he'll be truly missed so so um but get well soon uh, oh oh that's right that's i'm sorry get well soon i was, I was <laughs> all right all right so the gator's still with us okay all right, so the gate is still alive and, and kicking. Um, sober and sane is a different story.